Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here. And today, there's a new event going on for Halloween, I guess. Knights of the Hollow Zen. Beware of the Headless Horseman, for he knows only vengeance. Complete quests to collect event XP, earn rewards, and stop the Horseman from destroying all the death. Alright. So this looks like it's another track, which is kind of sick, because... I mean, I know it's not necessarily everyone, but... Oh, that portrait is fucking gorgeous. That is beautiful. Um... Alright, well... Oh, I have things to collect here. Oh, that's true. Uh, um... So, yeah. Uh... Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so there's a new event. They announced a new set. Um, as you can see, new set. Oh, it's because I didn't finish clicking out of all the ease. why I didn't get all my... Yeah, now if you come into the shop... Are these? Pass of Arts I spent. Oh, cool. Uh... So shit, it's more expensive on phone. I was looking at this on my phone, and this was a hundred and ten dollars. Oh, I'm so glad they do it like this now. This is so much better. I wish I did all the sets like that, like even these old ones. But this is so much better to find shit. That's that's pretty dope. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna be end up picking this up. I hate that this is a hunter portrait. Cool. You do. Um. So we've been saving gold for this uh, expansion release. Anyways, though, um, as I did say, I did hit Legend yesterday after the recording. Uh, these are the cards I got. There's like nothing great. I had all the cards. What the hell is this? Oh, this is the new spell you get for free as well. Fill your hand with random spells. Costs one less for each card in your hand, or each other card in your hand. That's interesting. I don't think it's that great, but it's pretty cool. Um, I like that it's a neutral spell, so you can play it in any deck. I just think that's, a, that's cool. Anyways, though, um, with that being said, I'm going to quickly build uh, the deck I wanted to play for today's video, which is a viewer suggestion deck. A viewer suggested deck. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get that real quick, and then we'll I'll talk about it, and then we'll hop into the first game. All right, guys, so I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, we are back. And we are playing the Overload Shaman, as you guys can see. Um, last time I played this deck, everyone was like, oh yeah, you should probably play Biolumency. Last time I tried the, um, what, what is the name of the, the card? Uh, I can't think of the name of the three drop spell, the one that summons something big for each time you've overloaded. Um, charge call. Instead of running this, I'm running the Biolumency version, which I think, I do think this version is better. I think that it's not needed in order to OTK. Uh, it just makes your job way easier. You need less burn spells in the early game to do it. Um, I do want to try Totemic Evidence instead of, I believe you typically play the one that summons 1-1s. One uh, that adds them to your hand. I believe you typically play this in the bio, um, the bio version, but I want to try it with this because I do te tend to find myself hero powering a little bit with this deck. Um, so I feel like this should probably be better because summoning four things instead of two is just better. Um, yes, you don't. No. So this would summon. Seven, this summons four, but with double biolumency, just four is enough. Um, I forgot that he gets double with quest. So yeah, that that is the plan. Um, and then I added diligent note taker just as a little bit more card draw, quote unquote. And I added investment opportunity and uh lightning storm cutting the two charge calls. And uh, what was the other card that I got? Hold up, I have my list right next to me. Both charge calls, serpentine portal. 
uh, Ashara, Firemancer, Flurg, Ice Fishing, and uh, Toxin. For those cards, I think this is probably a little bit better. I'm excited to try it out and let's see how it goes. Alright guys, yeah, with that being said, let's get the first one and let's see how it goes. Alright. Um, Reese, I'm gonna hard melt all this. We're looking mostly for ancestral knowledge, uh, investment opportunities. I think that really draws cards. Um, if this is Big Priest, this is a much worse. Oh, okay. Card is not Big Priest. It's pretty good for us, actually. Um, I think are we really losing that deck to is like. I want to say, uh, Lothem, but even then, we could, like, fairly easily beat Lothem, I feel. Uh, nerf Lightning Bloom still feels bad. <laughs> I hate the fact that this card got nerfed. It still feels like for no real reason it got nerfed. Uh, I don't want to save that. For now. Oh, I guess I could do this, this, this. No, this doesn't help my point. I'll just do this actually here. I'll do this. Next one, I'll do this. Or coin this, this. Draw three. Or draw two. Add another one of them to my hand. Look at the order. Alright. Uh, that's not ideal here, but I mean, we do have the kill on that with this. This. I think the play is going to be Zap uh, Ancestral Knowledge. Because I have exactly enough mana for that. I want to use this now. Kind of. Right, I'm going to greed here. I feel like I can. Um, and also, like, this is only overloading for one. This would overload for two. I'm assuming he's going to do this trade because it's, like, free for him. And if he commits another small mini, it just gets tied up into a lightning storm as well. I do have to worry about my health total, though, a little bit. way too much overload right that overloads me for four i'm down to two mana next turn i think i would oh, i have to finish my quest eventually this is actually an insane draw here um also don't really have to necessarily worry too much about finding the bios now uh i could always really find i can always find the bios in a bit um well, great. This is gonna be six. Oh, fuck, I should have put this first. I can't remember, I want to put that with. Whoops. Thought I had one more mana than I actually do. That's really bad. Oh, that's also really awful. Unless I find like a reckless.
right. I don't need the Spirit of the Frog. I could have taken Beaker just as easily, but this is fine. I could kill whatever he plays here. Um, any minion he plays, I could just kill with a Lightning Bolt, basically. The only bad thing would be if he slammed Lothab. Would be the only bad thing. He should have held on to that as well. I want to overload for the least amount of mana this turn. I'm overloading for a lot next turn. Well, next turn I kill him, but um, I still want to overload for the least amount of mana possible. Yeah. Right, because if someone's four, this gives them. Yeah, this is like lethal easily. Oh, I gotta keep this? Oh, no, I don't gotta keep that. I was about to say, if I gotta keep that, I win the game. Uh, how much? An 8 mana. 5. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure that's way over lethal. I completely forgot that they also get doubled the burn spell. So just a casual extra 32 damage, you know. I needed that extra 32 damage. Hey! Keenan Piquette? I hope that's how you pronounce that. Thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, but yeah, I guess that is... That is one way to kill your opponent. <laughs> um, yeah, that worked fairly well. Uh, anyways, I guess next game? Alright. Hunter, I think, is going to be an awful matchup if I had to take a wild guess. Oh, Fist and Opportunity on one is really nice. I don't need Bioluminance. Keep the card draw in hand, mull everything else, basically. This could be good if it's not quest. I have a feeling it's going to be quest. Oh, it's not even or odd. You know, it's a beast. Lightning Storm, that is huge in this matchup. Uh, do I want to save one health? I don't think I have to save one health. I think I'm better off just doing this. Just passing here. It's a actually save one health. Double frog is very interesting. Frogs. Depending on what he plays, this beaker is nuts. Not sure I want it to be, but I guess I have to deal with that. Um, I think I go frog here. I think I just go spirit of the frog. I think what I draw. This overloads for two, so it's so much. I'm just go. Draw. Uh, I'll put another beaker on top just because it's another free spell. So if he plays minions here, it should be fairly easy for me to kill them all. I wanted the other beaker. Mostly to hit things like this uh, bird and whatnot. I'm gonna eat his whole board here. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it's fine as I could have killed him off with lightning bolt. Uh, I don't have coin anymore, which is kind of annoying. Uh, because then I could have just like lightning storm here. Oh my god, he had double weapon. Oh, that is really fucking bad for me. Like. Not legal levels of bad. Overloads for two. For this here.
Let's go. I know I can't play the investment opportunity, but I'm assuming he's gonna find a way to kill off my guy here. Like that's my 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 guess is my frog is not surviving. It's either gonna die to Tundra. I know he's gonna play the one one. Like there's a million things that dies to here. So I'm assuming it's what's gonna happen. I don't think he's gonna leave the frog up for another turn. He has to kill that frog, right? There's no way he doesn't. As um, make sure that's a good We can do this. This poke poke. Or this. This. Last. I think this is fine. It's not ideal. What can you do? I fucked that up. Whoops. I did not mean to do it in that way. I'm so mad I fucked that up. Wasting that investment opportunity here is really fucking bad. So if I had Lightning Bloom for next turn, I potentially had lethal. Because double Lightning Bloom is so much value, it's actually insane. I need to hope he didn't hit Tundra Rhino off those. I know for a fact he hit Pacfield and Buzzard. We know that, but we don't know what the last two that he hit were. Um, yeah. Fine. I guess. Not ideal, but I guess that works. Um. It's not the one I want to play here. Is the problem? I, guess I have to do this. Man, I really needed a one cost spell here. The problem is my last one cost spell that I would play here is on the bottom of my deck and I can't use Lightning Bloom to get to it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. glad I saw that. Okay. Everyone, I'm actually just a god gamer. To be fair, I'm pretty sure this was also lethal because it got 14 spell damage base. Jesus Christ, sometimes this deck is just hard to play and gives me a headache. Yeah, that was a weird visual bug there. But yeah, no, this deck is like, surprisingly good. What the fuck? You just beat the two best decks, if I'm not mistaken, currently in the game, according to Tempo Storm, or two of the best decks in the game. Um, which is kind of insane. For this deck that's, like, on no one's radar, I definitely think that if you are slightly better and slightly faster the deck than I am, you could get Legend with this deck. It's feeling really, really powerful here. Anyways, uh, I guess let's queue up the next one. Alright, another Priest... This is a weird matchup. I can't tell if it's favored or not favored. Um, I don't know both of those. Again, looking for card draw. The Peeper, okay. I guess I need to preface this saying that we've hit Ancestral Knowledge by turn three every single game so far. 
Which, I mean, when you do that, it feels really, really good. When you don't, it feels a little bit weaker, but I guess that is also, like, par for the course, right? Obviously, if you don't hit the best early game card in the deck, the deck is going to feel weaker. But, at the same time, I mean... Depending what matchup we have, we can play this matchup a little bit slower. Um, like, sure, Priest is never an easy matchup for us to face, because... I mean, we, we have to OTK them, they play cards to block us from OTKing them, and all this shit. But, at the same time, I mean... That was the one I did not want to hit. The one one is the worst one, because I can't, like, decurve lightning with it on the battlefield and not get value. Hopefully he misses on quest. To be fair, I mulled half my hand. He should know basically all the spells in my deck. Um, unless it's, like, decurve lightning, which he might not know if I'm playing or not. I'm fairly certain, like... The spells in this deck are not exactly the hardest ones to pick. Um... What would be like the weirdest card? That maybe? We hit all of them. Interesting. Happy Halloween. Oh, that's the one. Oh, yes. That one's gonna be very useful. Ooh, that's actually a really good draw. It's a really, really good draw. I have to waste uh, this. I guess I could afford this. I'd much rather do this. Uh, take investment here. Let's this heals this up as well, which is really, really nice. That breaks on my overload. It's like insane. That was so much value. Brock is such a broken card, man. I don't know how this card is still able to be in the game and not be quote unquote fixed. Um, I'm holding all the cards that he would actually be able to deal with my frog with, so I'm not too worried. Um, I'm gonna beaker of lightning here. I guess let's start with opportunity, tackle, lightning bloom. Lightning bloom is actually such a good card for us to draw. It is a strong card for us to draw. I guess we could just throw some things with it as well. To make me the happiest, but I'd rather do this than go far. Beautiful. Healing totem here was so nuts. It means he has to have stolen another damage spell in order to kill the frog. His hero power isn't good enough to kill it. And I mean, I just need to make sure that the turn I play, the turn I finish for Brucon, um. I'm able to play Brucon. I can't just end Brucon. Oops. I'm fine with that. Because you gotta undo his overload. You have two mana overload? Interesting. Um. So the card is gonna get that much value in this matchup. Do that, I throw this away. This is slightly worse. They both overload for three. This just potentially wipes his board versus that kills one thing. And honestly, if I need to kill one thing, I do have crackles, which I would rather use for crackle plus lightning storm. It's probably gonna be something like my play next turn is be like crackle lightning storm. Uh, if I'm being honest. Depending on what he plays and whatnot. Just so I can empty out my hand a little bit. And then I wait a turn and then I go off. I don't think he'll be able to steal enough cards for to kill me before I kill him. Is this only overloads. I have so much. Do 
choose this here. Next I'll have five mana. Diligent note taker, lightning bloom, lightning bloom, voltaic surge. Lightning bolt is not. Hmm. Yeah, no, I would rather play the safe. I'm sorry. I can always go. Yeah, next one I'll have more mana if I go. We'll take burst this, 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 all. I have slightly more mana, and I think that's lethal. Now let me do math real quick. Um. That is like 20 What did I say? I said this is at this, this, repeat that. This, I need Brucon. I play Brucon first, obviously. The elements this, Bioluminance. I thought I actually had one more mana, so I was also to play the geyser, but I need it. That he takes six additional damage. This deck is fucking insane. Yo, frog needs to be touched, man. <laughs> Fuck the frog. Frog drew me so many cards. I guess since no one's really playing board wipes nowadays, um, the meta's like shifted very combo heavy with like this being tier one, Edwin Rogue being tier one. Uh, Big Priest still being fairly popular, you know. Um, the Hunter deck, even though it has like a little bit of board presence, um, like your, your board rights are typically 5 mana. So if I go turn 3 Frog, 0 mana spell into a couple 0 and 1 mana spells the next turn, like there's not much my opponent can do. Like that's just insane. <laughs> like, there's no other way for me to put it besides the fact that that's fucking broken. Um, deal an extra 150 damage with nitrous spells. That had to do with the first fucking person I OTK'd. I'm gonna probably be doing this off, um, recording. Because I'm gonna probably do it playing, like, Raza Priest or, you know, just fucking around. Maybe I'll play a deck that plays a Frozen Throne Hero for the next couple days to build it. If you guys want to see Frozen Throne Heroes, uh, play that are not Anduin. Because I think Anduin's the only one that's really played nowadays. Uh, tell me and I'll play the other ones. Um, I guess there's Anduin and Gul'dan that are played, and all the other ones are kind of shit. Anyways, end of season reward, we got some packs, so I figured we'd open up these to end off today's video, because it's been a while since we've opened packs, and, and like, just in general. So hopefully we can get some good dust. Um, just because I would like to have a little bit more dust for when the new set comes out, so this way, on day of release, I can try out whatever deck I want to try out. If there are cards in my collection I could dust, like I have extra goldens of random shitty epics or legendaries. Some legendaries I believe have like three copies of them, right? I don't need three copies. I'll keep the diamond one, I can dust the golden one or whatever. I don't... I, I actually really like the diamond cards and I did see that there's like new frames for some legendaries, for iconic legendaries or something like that. Which I'm fucking hyped for, that's, that's really cool. Um, I, li I like those little thing. And I also heard that there's legendary hero portraits, which... Okay, this is a really good pack. A really good pack. Um, but yeah, I heard there's, like, legendary hero portraits, which... To me, seems like one of the coolest things on the planet. They're gonna cost me a lot of fucking money, but... What can you do? I guess... I've accepted that at this point. Um, oh, I've opened two golden ones at least. Well... I've accepted the fact that it's gonna cost me a shitload of money, and I just genuinely don't really care. Um, just because I, I I love it. They looked really really sick. Um, they had like fancy borders and shit around them, and then I, I don't know that looked hype to me. I'll pay like fifteen bucks each. Um, hopefully they're not gonna be much more than ten or fifteen dollars. If it's like golden pack level expensive, I'll pass. But it's also like fucking fifty bucks and. There's a lot of better things I'd rather spend $50 on in cosmetics and Hearthstone. Anyways, though, with that being said, um, let's talk a little bit more about this deck. This deck felt fucking absurd. Again, it's a three-game sample size. Um, 
but we did beat two Raza priests and we beat a beast hunter so I'm happy with that you know um yeah no this deck was I, I'm like I think last time I played this deck I went like one and two with it or something like uh hold up this is the wrong tab. Uh, I go to shaman where is I believe it was called overload Called overload really not um that's Okay, I think it was this one. We have 48 days. Does that make sense? Uh, when was this one? Good. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. We went two and two. And we lost to a priest, which we now beat. We lost to a warrior, beat Mage Druid. Oh, this deck just feels crap. If you guys have all the cards, I would say give it a try. I definitely think this deck can hit Legend. This deck felt... Kinda broken, not gonna lie. Double bioluminance might be too many. You could probably cut it down for one. Play another overload card. Maybe play like a wind chill. Slow down your opponent, and draw some cards uh, for the early game. But overall, I felt really happy with this list. Uh, also, the the bioluminance times two uh, will definitely help though against druids. Because druids, you could you typically would be able to just slam Brukan. Pass. Pass back to you. Fill your board. Double Bioluminance, which is four times. Which is 28 spell damage per spell. And then if you catch Bolt, Bolt. I mean, 28, 56. It's 112 damage plus the 12 from Bolt. So that's like 124 damage with two Bolts. Or what is that? 10 mana even? So like that's, that's really good. It's not including if you have like Lightning Blooms for, you know, Crackles or... Um, like scalding geysers or whatever but um yeah anyways with all that being said hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you guys did don't forget to like and subscribe as always follow me on twitch and twitter have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we continue continue like we're doing now and get a whole bunch of dubs so yeah anyways with that being said i'll see you guys all in the next one all right guys peace